Hey everyone, welcome to this video from Publish Press. I'm going to explain to you what an excerpt is in WordPress. Now, if you're the kind of person that writes long posts and has a lot to say, then you may find excerpts useful. Essentially, they are short little versions of your longer post. In the post you can see in front of you, I went to the About Us page on WordPress.org and copied and pasted all their content. It ended up being hundreds of words long. I just took it, copied it, and pasted it into my WordPress post here. And because it's so long, I needed a short version to show in all sorts of different places on my site where there may not be room for the whole post. So although there are hundreds of words about WordPress, at the bottom, I have just a single sentence, which is an excerpt or summary of the longer post. Now, WordPress describes it this way, Excerpts are optional, handcrafted summaries of your content that can be used in your theme. There's a couple of really important things in there. One, they are optional. You don't have to use them at all. And also, they can be used in your theme, but it really depends on whether your theme actually allows them or not. We'll take a look at a theme that does in just a second. But it's also worth noting that if you do not see the excerpt box down here, scroll to the top of the page and click on this link in the top right corner, Screen Options. And make sure the excerpt box is checked over there. Now, where will you actually see the excerpt on the front of your site? Most likely, you're going to see it on pages which have lots and lots of posts. And so they just don't have room for the entire content of every post. In this example, we're seeing the excerpt, the single sentence there for my What is WordPress article. This is an archives page which shows all the content that I've published in the month of January. Now, if I publish hundreds and hundreds of posts this month, this archive page will be unmanageable. So the theme shows only the excerpt in order to make it much easier to browse and easier to understand this page. However, I would look at the documentation for your particular theme to see if it support excerpts. And if so, how? Because probably the majority of themes do not support excerpts. However, if you are using excerpts for your content and you do want to use them regularly, it's worth figuring out whether you can force your writers or force yourself to use an excerpt every time. And the answer is you can if you use the content checklist add-on that's available with Publish Press. If you enable the content checklist add-on, you'll see this area on the right-hand side. And one of the options that has to be completed before you publish the content is excerpt has text. If the excerpt is empty, that will automatically change to a red X. And if you decide to publish or update the content, the options on here on the right hand side are configurable. At the moment, we just see a red X which recommends that we fill in the excerpt. It's going to change to a much more friendly green check mark if we do. But if I click the configure link, I'm going to be taken to publish press settings. And it'll say excerpt has text prevent publishing. And now I'm not going to be able to publish content that does not have an excerpt added to it. If I go to posts and add new, type in my new post, all of these things are going to be recommended to me. Two of them are going to be required before I can publish the post. And if I click on publish, I'm going to get a couple of warnings. Please complete the following requirements. You must have a featured image and the excerpt must have text. So if you're the kind of person that writes a lot of content in your posts, consider using excerpts. Make sure to find a theme that supports them so that you can give people short, sharp summaries of your content so they don't have to wade through everything to get the point of what you're trying to say. 